Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about having a Scorpio sun and an Aquarius ascendant in a natal chart. Now, the two things these signs have in common, obviously, they're both fixed signs. This could be a very intractable, uh, resolute in this combination, and this person might be very set in their, as far as their beliefs, though Aquarius it, a rising can be progressive and open-minded they still this combination still could be very rigid overall in in their belief system and the, whether it's their philosophies or whatever and thing about this is um, they are square by sign a Scorpio Sun could be introverted a secretive mysterious it's a feminine sign so it inclines more toward privacy as opposed to being gregarious and with uh, Aquarius ascendant, Aquarius is, of course, a masculine sign, and it's extroverted, and it's very people-friendly. Uh, they can often have the universal uh, friend syndrome or complex, so to speak, very amiable, more outgoing, and uh, at the same time may not make a, a lot of uh, close ties. Aquarius ascendant can be somewhat uh, detached. So the thing that they have in in common is that Scorpio Sun could be difficult uh, to know and, and same with Aquarius uh, Ascendant but that being said you have a much more uh, outgoing uh, as far as Ascendant as opposed to the Sun sign the Aquarius Ascendant can be can be somewhat eccentric uh, unorthodox uh, unpredictable very spontaneous scientific and it in this could uh, in progressive and this could hide uh, in very like about in, in really like I said before the universal friend syndrome and really this could hide the Scorpio Sun uh, to some degree which is of course a lot more uh, introverted and more about being more in solitude and, and just maybe with a few close friends uh, as opposed to being out with more uh, with more people on on average and being in, in that and they're obviously not as outgoing so this hides a, a rather more secretive and reverse reserve uh, Scorpio uh, Sun now when you look at a natal chart the Sun sign can represent our basic ones and the rising sign or ascendant can represent the manner or method in which one attains these basic ones so when you look at the, the Scorpio Sun, the basic ones can be connected with transformation, regeneration, uh, power, control, uh, sex. I understand sex can figure prominently in all the astrological signs at uh, some level, but I think it's more pronounced with Scorpio, so I consider it a basic want with that sign. And, and also matters, some other basic wants can be connected with others or shared resources. And, and, and digging deep and, and solving mysteries, getting to the bottom of things. And with the Aquarius Ascendant, uh, this, this might be done, uh, at least one or more of these things might be done with some perhaps Aquarian-like ingenuity and originality. Uh, this person might, uh, as far as, uh, let's say, finding, uh, making, making some change, in their in their life their their transformation change may be done it may be in a manner which is not conventional or orthodox to a lot of uh, other people getting to the bottom of things that might be done in in matter maybe that might be somewhat uh, that might be somewhat different it might be done perhaps through maybe a lot of the friendships acquaintances that Aquarius ascendant might attain uh, finding um, perhaps the finding the, the Scorpio Sun that need for that perhaps the uh, a sexual partner in a, in a relationship it might be done through um, through Aquarian like ways it might be done perhaps through the internet maybe uh, maybe friendship maybe the friend they have one or more friends that help them out and find find this person for him or her and this could also be somebody that does uh, the, the Scorpio Sun uh, like things and, and, and injects that into the Aquarius ascendant I mean such as things connected uh, perhaps like for example um, maybe astrology the occult supernatural and might do this and, and, and have their own really um, original ideas perhaps uh, connected uh, with this they might bring their um, their ability 
um, that 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 one that prototypical uh, detective side of Scorpio uh, might come out perhaps through as far as uh, trying to find things out through troubleshooting things that are Aquarian like such as maybe things connected with electronics or computers or, or, or something or something in that general uh, area and in the transformation regeneration thing might come out through perhaps an Aquarian like field such as perhaps maybe they, they find this change perhaps through an Aquarian like career such as some kind of esoteric subject such as astrology such as uh, perhaps aeronautics uh, innovation perhaps uh, maybe something connected with computers, electronics. This could be some kind of electronics technician, or somebody that fixes DVD, somebody that does troubleshooting with the computers, and, and just similar things of, uh, of that nature. Well, anyway, people, uh, it's important to do is look at the aspect, if any, that is made between the Scorpio Sun and the Aquarius Ascendant, as this could indicate uh, how these energies, uh, if they even do make an aspect, how they may work or, or not work as well together. Now, let's say that you have uh, a square aspect. This is adverse and adversarial, and this could be common with having, of course, having uh, these signs are square by sign. So let's say you have a Scorpio Sun at 12 degrees and Aquarius Ascendant at 15 degrees. Well, obviously this could be uh, there. This could be conflicting, and even if the person is not cognizant of his or her astrological placements, this could cause some inner uh, exasperation and tension due to the fact this person may feel uh, they're misconstrued or misunderstood by others because what they're projecting outwardly may be strongly different than what is going on inside. Now, you could also have an out of sign trine aspect take place. Now, let's say the Scorpio sun is one degree and the Aquarius ascendant is 28 degrees. Now, yes, they are still uh, square by sign, but you might have a little better integration and blending of these energies because of that aspect, and they might work together a little bit better. And uh, let's say uh, you could also um, have an out of sign sextile aspect take place. Let's say the Scorpio sun is 29 degrees and the Aquarius ascendant is one degree. That could be positive and auspicious as well. And like the trine, it could have a better integration than otherwise indicated. Yes, they're still square by sign. So you always have that little inner con that that's a little conflict right there. But well, but having the sextile or trine aspect will help it a little bit better. Now also look at the house placement of the sun in Scorpio as even though the Aquarius ascendant might camouflage or conceal the Scorpio sun energy to some degree or suppress it somewhat the sun in Scorpio energy may still figure at least somewhat prominently in that particular house that is posited in. Now let's say the sun in Scorpio is in the ninth house. Well, the sun Scorpio energy may be dissipated to some degree because it is a cadet house, but it still may come out in matters connected with the ninth house, such as in-laws, if applicable, things connected uh, with higher uh, education and uh, things, uh, perhaps emotional intensity, for example, and in, in maybe in higher education, abstract thinking, and also in, in long distance uh, traveling. Now, if it's in the 10th house, well, it might figure more prominently because it is uh, an angular house and you might see the Scorpio energy come out in matters pertaining uh, to the career and maybe this person may work something connected with a Scorpio-like uh, profession and, and show that, that strong resiliency, resourcefulness, resourcefulness and that strong formidable uh, Scorpio side in those matters. Now, if it's in the 11th house, well, you might see this energy, this ability, maybe some control and maybe some power connected with their friends and perhaps transforming, wanting to transform them, perhaps compelled to do so, at least on a positive level, perhaps. Well, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for having the sun in Scorpio and an Aquarius ascendant and a natal chart. And stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about having a Scorpio sun and a Pisces ascendant in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, 
based on this alone, because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.